I've been to a wedding here before. Funeral too. The professor wants to meet. Oh, I'd expected to hear from him sooner. In light of recent events. And he was wondering if it'd be convenient for you to come by the college this afternoon. <coughs> His lecture concludes at four. Looking forward. One side, Chumley. <laughs> Fischer Weiser, Schubert, 1826. Gib auf nur deine Tucker, den Fisch betrugst du nicht. Give up your foolish trickery. This fish you cannot cheat. I hope I'm not intruding. Excuse me. I think please take these up to Mr. Williams and make sure he packs my white tie and tails. I'll take care of Professor. Thank you. I do apologize. I'm off on a blasted lecture tour. Would you care for some tea or coffee? Neither. Something stronger, perhaps? No, but might I trouble you for an inscription? I read that the good doctor was to be married today. How was the service? Definitive. He'll no longer be party to my investigations. He's out of the equation. I trust you'll take this into consideration. And what considerations will you grant me? Have you actually read the book? I found it compelling. Though I'm primarily interested in your more recent endeavors. I take that as a compliment. I have the utmost regard for your talents. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Officially. Are you familiar with the study of graphology? I've never given it any serious thought, no. The psychological analysis of handwriting. The upward strokes on the P, the J, and the M indicate a genius level intellect, while the flourishes on the lower zone denote a highly creative yet meticulous nature. But if one observes the overall slant in the pressure of the writing, there's a suggestion of acute narcissism, a complete lack of empathy, and a pronounced inclination toward no moral insanity. In answer to your previous request regarding Dr. Watson not being involved, the answer is no. The laws of celestial mechanics dictate that when two objects collide, there is always damage of a collateral nature. Zempli gratia. Two gentlemen find themselves at cross purposes. A young woman torn between them. The strain <coughs> proves too much for her, and she suddenly falls ill with tragic consequences. A rare form of tuberculosis. She succumbed in a matter of seconds. Now, are you sure you want to play this game? I'm afraid you'd lose. Rest assured, if you attempt to bring destruction down upon me, I shall do the same to you. My respect for you, Mr. Holmes, is the only reason you're still alive. You've paid me several compliments. Let me pay you one in return when I said if I were assured of the former eventuality. Cheerfully accept the latter. 
I'll be sure to send my regards to the happy couple. Another time, then.